want to make a little video, a short one, to maybe be of help to you on the shower head. See how this one is, it's uh, built up with uh, calcium in the tiny little holes. See some of them squirting off in all different directions and whatnot, some not even, probably about 40 to 50 percent of them not even putting out water. Now I'll give you an idea of what to do. Take care of that problem. Set my camera down here a minute. Okay. Turn the water off. Take your power pliers. Get behind it. Loosen the shower head. It'll take me a minute to get outside to show you the rest of it. Okay, we're going outside to do this. We'll set up the camera here. Okay. <laughs> I have here a set of tiny little drill bits made for cleaning out things mostly because you can't really drill that much with them. You can buy these drill bits that are auto parts. You can buy them and buy a single. Find you want it. Well, it fits that about right. And you go through it. Use them to drill out the uh, calcium. Just go around to all the holes like this. <sighs> this type of a bit, that's mainly what they're made for. That's why they have this little handle on them. You, you may have to go to some tool company to buy something like that. But like I say, you can do the same thing with a regular old drill bit. Because it doesn't take any pressure to speak of. Just run it into the hole. You can see the calcium in the ones that are plugged up. It's just a gentle pressure. And I don't want to spend the day you seeing me do this because it takes probably 15 minutes. But one by one, you just pull up a chair and Take you about 10 or 15 minutes. It's not costing you a dime. Or you can go buy a new shower head. However you want to do it. But if you just at the spur of the moment decide, well, hey, I'd like to get that fixed up. Take it off. Do it like this. Put it back on and you're done. And it surprise you how it works like a brand new one. So... 
well, for anybody that want to watch, mm. let me go ahead and I'll, and I'll show you the difference. You don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. But some of you may want to see how difference it is, what a difference it makes. I don't have that many more to go. They make a, they show a, on TV some calcium remover. Show them just holding it up there and dip it in it. Go ahead and try it. Good luck. Doesn't work that way. In the real world, it don't. Okay, I've got all the ones on the outside done now. There's not that many on the inside. It won't take me long. We're going to do the other This actually works good because I do this myself about, oh, about once every six or eight months when it starts getting to where it doesn't really put out as much water as I like. You might say, well, what keeps the calcium that I'm breaking up right here and pushing down inside of this, what keeps that from coming right back to stopping up the hole again? I think the reason for that is by putting a drill bit in there and chopping it up into smaller pieces than, uh, you know, for the size of the hole, it, it's able to wash it right through the hole, even though it is a, a small hole. Almost through. I hate that this takes, while you're sitting there watching this, I don't like to tie up your time that much, but just to show the whole thing, I have to do it. Most of you may get the idea without having to watch the whole thing. I'm about done here. Okay, we're done. Now we're going to go put it back on. I'm going to show you the difference I'm carrying the camera with me because I don't know how to, uh, I don't have the equipment to splice the video. <laughs> Right there, I made a skip. But you can see how much better it's running. That helps. And like I said, it doesn't cost anything. Hope it didn't help you out a little bit just knowing that. But other girls that other years didn't know.